Dimensioning angled surfaces. Here I have an angled surface. I'm going to use the dim command or the dim align command. I can use either one. So let's start off with the dim aligned. And I can find the dim align command in the home tab under the annotation by hitting the down arrow and go to aligned. Or I like to work in the annotate tab. I go to the dimensions panel and I can hit the down arrow and go to dim aligned. I first want to hit enter to select the object. So I'll pick this object. I'm going to drag it out and place it, place the dimension line location. Where do I want to place the dimension line? And I pick and I place then an, a dimension on that angled surface. So I can do it with the dim linear command. I also can use the dim command. So I go up and choose the dim command. It says uh, select objects or specify the first extension line. I can come down and pick on the object. And when I pick on the object, I pull it out and I place or specify the dimension line location. So I pick and I get the same results. And I can enter the finish the command or escape. I also can uh, rotate uh, the dimension. And I can use the rotate option of the din linear command. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to choose the the line command. I'm going to select the object and I can come down and choose angle. And I can specify the angle and I'll say 45 degrees. And you can see now my text is rotated at 45 degrees. So this is the rotate option of the dim linear command. This is particularly used for when you're doing isometric drawings, 2D isometric drawings. You typically would set this at 30 degrees. So I would do something like this. I would go up and choose the align command, hit enter, let's select it, come down, place the angle, and type it in at 30 degrees. And now my dimension text is at a 30 degree angle that corresponds to my isometric drawing.